Dear Xenia, in one of your lessons you mentioned that forces have a right to test and provoke you thrice. But what if after my practice with runes and certain runic formulas, including work with intention and energy, with the goal to cause harm to my enemies, I acquired such an enormous force that the enemies have come at me. I encountered provocations due to my aggression and total hatred, for justice so to say. All in all, what I got were misfortunes, losses, monetary hits, conflicts, depression, obsessive thoughts, worrisome dreams, suicidal thoughts, theft of my property, lack of money, energy blockages and after all a decline in health. So I'm sitting here with a fever, aching throat and a stuffed up nose. My former great power is nowhere to be found. I can hardly wake up at nine in the morning. What did I get myself into? And the most important thing, how can I properly get out of this mess without losing my power and preserving my dignity, although I don't even feel my power any longer? From what I understand, the demons took their payment back. Yes, sure, it was them. Or were these my dues to the Christian Egregor? It manifested itself quite actively at that time, although when the forces came, the Christian channel moved aside. My trial by magic came to be very unfortunate. After all of this, the ordinary simple life seems to be a dream. I thank you for your answers. Well, thank you to our colleague Stan for sharing his story with us, which is perhaps worth for us to discuss and reflect on. Great is the need, once acquiring a magical instrument, to satisfy one's most deep desires and dreams. Some will ask for health, some will ask for money, and some will want to punish their enemies, thereby trying to address whatever it is that is most painful, something that stands out the most. The latter is always quite dangerous because it is the beginning of a declaration of war. A war which a beginner mage has almost no chance of winning. And why is that? You see, your enemy is most likely someone who has conquered you before. Because if it was you who won, your enemies would go by a whole different name. If they beat you, or if they were successful at causing you damage, this means that at that moment they were stronger than you. And they could have been stronger due to various reasons, including in a magical sense, including in an egregorial, socially protected sense. In any case, the force backing them up is much greater than the one you have. You, on the other hand, just have the runes in your hands. You swung the pendulum of your consciousness, taking it beyond your rights and your abilities, and made a request, or threw a punch, at another system. What you received is called a classic blowback, meaning it is truly classic. What is a blowback? It is when the pendulum comes swinging back. If you have swung it too strongly, then naturally the returning wave will be just as strong. You don't know how to protect yourself. You don't know how to move away from the return fire. You don't know how to deflect attacks. You don't know how to do anything yet. You're a tiny little mage who locked out in understanding the runes. You grasped their power and applied the formulas. But you don't know anything else. You haven't run diagnostics of your enemies. You haven't discovered their strong and weak points. You haven't arranged protection for yourself. You haven't covered up your weakest spots because you don't know what they are. But when the pendulum came swinging back, because most likely your opponents had all that which you have missed, they had a defense as well as a correct understanding of your and their own abilities, pendulum bounced off of their defense and came flying back in the opposite direction. The chain rips at its weakest link, so it hit precisely where you were standing, right in the bullseye, hitting all your weak links. And it is not that it was a punishment for your rudeness, although sometimes these blowbacks do work as a punishment for rudeness, 
Everyone has their own understanding of justice. You haven't really figured out this part. The fact that you haven't figured it out is evident from your words. You started going through all these variables, such as demons took their payment. What demons' payment are you speaking of if you're working with runes? Or it was the Christian Gregor? Very simple explanation. Most importantly, it explains everything. Sure. Especially because there is nothing one can do about it, because you don't know what to do. What else was there? Yes, as a consequence, a desire to go back to the common life and forget about all this magic, which actually was the aim of this particular blowback. You must draw conclusions from your first unfortunate experience. In your favor, I can say that all beginning witches and mages usually start out this way. First, you want to knock all the bells out of your enemies, and then, what is there? The donut, right? We learn from our mistakes. You will get better. Do approach the runes with respect. They weren't given to people for murder, and not always for vengeance. First, patch up the holes in your own life. Fix your health, fix your financial situation, improve your social status, establish good protections for yourself, get to know yourself. Learn your own strong and weak points, understand where you need the armor, what sort of weapons you require, and only after doing that enter the battlefield. Here, you use the runes to sit in a ditch and fling mud at your passing conqueror. You have offended runes because they shouldn't be used like that. It is not exactly correct. They are meant for something else. You broke the rules, and so, misfortune to the loser. The famous Roman law, winner takes it all. For you, this is a good experience. Why is it good? Because you are still alive. And this is perhaps your most important luck, because it all could have been drastically different depending on the one whose path you crossed. Therefore, I recommend that you think about the situation with a cool head. Write down on paper, list all of your mistakes, and start correcting them one by one. This would be warrior-like. This would be magic-like. To accept your mistakes, and not just to accept them, but start correcting them right away. You have suffered a secondary defeat, but now it would make sense to pause for a moment and to analyze. Not only your first defeat, but consequently your second one as well. Which is all in all very legitimate, because you haven't analyzed your first defeat in time. Had you analyzed it, then perhaps you wouldn't have used the runes so incompetently in order to solve your personal problems. 